some new soft plastic brands from Japan. Limited edition jacket, limited edition colorways, and a rod from Lucky Craft. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. What is up my friends? I am Ben with The Hookup Tackle, aka The Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being joined by my buddy Jeffrey the King, we're The Hookup Tackle USA. This is what's new this week at The Hookup Tackle, where we highlight new product drops as well as important restocks so you guys can stay on top of the game. Jeff, I'm reaching back here. Happy Sunday morning to you. Um, you it's forgot to address one very important thing. That Orion is back? And well, that all too. is going to be well. But what's wrong with your face? You don't look like the tackle at talk. Look, I went through my homeless face, yep. right? It was, I call it homeless chic, Okay. right? Because I, I mean, I pulled it off pretty well. You do? But there comes a certain point where vanity kind of takes over. And, you know, I'm good with like seven to eight gray hairs. Okay. Yeah. 30 to 40 percent, <laughs> a little too much for me. So, you know. The ladies like this. Am I right? But I thought the ladies like those silver foxes with the gray hairs and... <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Should have kept it. Well, it's all right. Give me seven months and okay. I can I can grow a beard Perfect. again. Perfect. Yeah. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. I hope all is well. All is well in my world again. You want one, Jeff? Where'd you find those? The secret place. Oh. Yeah. So you, Lily's is back. You flew to... Oh. I thought you flew to Okinawa for a little bit. Yeah, they finally, they finally figured it out. So <laughs> cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. All is well in the world. We have Orion. End of show. Thanks for joining. See you guys. Okay, oh. Let's talk about some baits. All right. I know that a lot of you guys love swim baits, so let's get right to it and talk about a couple swim bait items, mainly because I'm sweating and I would like to get this jacket off. So we'll jump to the jacket here in a second, but let's talk first about the Madness Ballum. So... Uh, Madness Balm comes in two sizes, Balm 300, Balm 245. The limited run rainbow trout color is back. Now this was actually one of the original colors that Madness did in the Balm when they introduced the bait to the USA. It has not been made since. So it's been several years since there's been a trout color in this. It's the first time that they've done it in the 245. So excited to get this in. Uh, you know, it's trout season. I mean, you've been playing with all the trout stockings and trying to catch some big ones, yeah. Jeff. So, I mean, this is the season. If you guys aren't familiar with the Balm, the Balm is just a super sick bait. You can fish it very quick. Uh, it's a multi-segmented, very easy bait to use. So again, in the 300, it's gonna come in a floating and sinking, okay? And the 245, it's going to come in a float. So again, don't be afraid of floaters. We talk about this almost every week. You guys can use weight strips. You can make this a slow sink, a suspend, whatever you want to do, okay? So I don't expect these to last very long. It's probably just a one-time run. Uh, we grabbed as many as we could. So there's plenty at the moment, but if you guys have been waiting for a, just a bigger bait and a trout color, definitely scoop these up new from Madness. All right, let's talk about what I am wearing so I can get back to a sun shirt, Jeff, because the bright lights, Whew, bright lights, beer, no beard, right? Getting warm in here. So I have on the brand new, this is a limited drop run from Working Class Zero, a super dope jacket. I posted this on Instagram a couple days ago. It is literally like the most comfortable jacket I've ever had on. It is called the Standard Logo Jacket. Now, it's gonna be a one-time drop. It's available in two colors 
black like I have on. It's also available in a color that they call OD Green, which I'll show you here. Thank you, Jeff. There's a green one as well. So you have the two colorway options here. What's dope about this jacket is inside, it is, they call it Sherpa fur lined. So it's got this super soft lining, almost like a teddy bear. It literally feels like I have a blanket on, super soft. It's got a collar and a hood, right? Which is super dope because everybody needs a collar and a hood. Uh, drawstrings, all the buttons have the little fish mark logo on them. So up and down as well as on the sleeve and then just lots of little hits on it. Tons of pockets, right? So like if you're Griff, this could be for your SIGs, right? You've got three hand pockets on the inside. It's just a dope jacket. Ripstop, cotton, reinforced in all the places you need it to be. So again, if you like working class zero and you like kind of, I would say one step above a hoodie as far as weight, right? So for us, a true winter jacket, right? For a lot of you, probably more like a spring fall kind of jacket. So just a great all around jacket. I look good in it. Yeah, you do. Right. You look like you got some wide shoulders. Dude, I, I worked out a couple years ago, remember? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was dope. Still lingers. So there you go. It's available from a small to a triple XL in the two colors. So take a look. If you want them, grab them. Uh, it will be the only drop of this jacket, and then they're moving on to other things. So take advantage while you can. Available now. All right, Jeff, let's take a second and talk about bento boxes. Okay. Okay. We haven't talked about that in a while on a Sunday episode. So as most of you guys know, we have a subscription plan for our JDM bento box. It's a once a month box. So just a couple of updates. Things changed in January with the timing. We were shipping on the first of each month. I'll let you guys know at the end of December that things were going to change for January. We're gonna to try to ship mid to end of January. Still the plan. So basically, we've had to adjust for timing of things coming in and specifically our key limited edition 110 and pop max okay so i will keep you guys posted on the subscription to the exact date of when you can expect those to go but it should be very soon now our bento subscription is limited to 200 people right so it's it's limited right every month we hold a few boxes back just to make sure that everything arrives fedex doesn't lose anything nothing gets crushed so Today, we are clearing out the last of our boxes. We've got six boxes that we've held back, uh, some extras of that we just haven't had a chance to clean up. So if you guys want to take advantage, you can grab these. This will be one time purchase. So this is not a subscription. This is just, if you want a box, take the box, okay? They're hundred bucks, hundred dollars worth of baits in each one, but each one will have a limited edition 110 and a limited edition pop max. I'm gonna refer to these boxes by the 110 color, just to make it easy. Okay, so I'm not gonna take 30 minutes and show you guys everything inside every box. I'm just gonna highlight some of these boxes and what's available. So this box will have a limited edition GLX Signal Phantom IU Pop Max and a Chartreuse Shad 110. Okay, so that's box one. We'll call that the Chartreuse Shad box. This guy is going to have GG Midnight Black and GP Sunset Pro Blue is a 110. That's a dope one. So this is a December box, all kinds of goodies in there. So there's that one. I know a lot of people are gonna be excited for this one. It has Stealth Bait, Pop Max, and Gill F as the 110. And of course, other goodies in there as well. Let's see what we got here. Hot Chartreuse Bone and Purple Winnie Shad in the 110 in that box. So this will be the Purple Winnie Shad box. This box was super dope. In here, this is Albino Regio in the Pop Max, Twilight Secret in the 110, kind of a super dope, like transparent smallmouth kind of color. So that's a great one. And then finally, Green Rat Snake and ST Reaction Wakasagi in the 110 in this box. Super dope one. So, there you go. If you guys want any of those, scoop them up. They are live right now. We haven't advertised this. This is just for you guys uh, as a way of saying thank you uh, for being here and giving us time on Sunday morning. So, grab away, scoop them up, enjoy. 
All right, Jeff, let's talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that's free rig weights. Mm -hmm. Now, innovation can come from anything. Am I right? Yeah. Like, it always kind of surprises you when something is innovated, and almost always the light bulb goes off and goes, ah, what did, I mean, so obvious, right? So, you know, we've been slumming with free rig weights that kind of look like this for a long time. And by the way, if you guys like the Ryugi weight, which we use all the time, they are all back in stock. Shameless plug. But... Just a pretty boring shape, right? Okay. So, thank God, a brand called Phase Up Phase in Japan. Up? Okay. Yep, Phase Up. They took it upon themselves to innovate the free rig weight market. Oh, I right? see. Gone are the boring, just plain weights. Okay. In ergonomical shape? Penguins. Can you see it? Should I take one out? Uh... Yeah, I, let me let me you, try that again. Could you take one out? Yeah, let me because let me my try eyes it are again. deceiving me. Okay, let me let me try that whole piece again. I could have sworn you said penguin for for some weird reason. That'd be odd. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Gone are those boring old lead weights, right? Mm -hmm. In penguins. Is that better? Uh, I still can't believe this. This is a penguin. I know what it is. I this just is can't... a free rig weight. This is a round eye swiveled drop shot weight in the shape of a penguin. So if you're not throwing a penguin, you're not getting the right action out of your weight. Mm. It's it's A, the fish see it, and they're like, oh, cute, a penguin. And then they see your beaver falling down, and they eat it. Mm. It's basically how it works. So uh, super excited to have these penguin guys in. This is going to be fun, Jeff. I know you think this is ridiculous. This is probably the most excited I've been for something in a really, really long time. I don't think that's good. I know. So available in a bunch of sizes, a five gram, a seven gram, 10 gram, a 14 gram. They do have the weights on the back. So there you go. If you guys want just some cute little penguin drop shot weights, I know it, you guys have probably been just waiting for this. Like, damn, if there's only a penguin. The time is now. It has come. This is the future. Okay? Isn't that amazing, Jeff? Uh, you do realize you'll never sell out on the Ryugi ones ever again, right? Oh, Ryugi's done. Yeah, they're in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs that weight? <laughs> uh, just to give you, the, actually, the reason I brought that Ryugi was, A, to talk about how boring it is. Okay. You know? Dumb. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even have a face on it. I wanted to showcase. So, the penguins are lead. Okay? They're not tungsten. But... They're about the same size. So here's a quarter ounce penguin and a quarter ounce Ryugi. So, you know, not much of a size difference, but obviously a huge fun factor difference. Am I right? Dumb penguin. So there you go, guys. If you're excited too, scoop them up. These are gonna sell out fast. Everybody's been dying for penguins. There you go. Thank you, Phase Up. Finally, some innovation in the free rig weight game. Penguins are in. All right, let's go back to just boring lures. No okay. more penguins. Disappointed. We should have ended with penguins. Yeah, really. Yeah, because now I'm just, I'm done. I'm over it. So here you go. You want some big topwater baits? Some big topwater baits. Um, okay, here we go. Well, we've been talking about some of the big depths uh, walking baits. We introduced you guys to the skater a couple times, a rattle and a silent version. This is the other big depths topwater bait. This is the walker so now you have options you have the walker and you have the skater is this confusing you look confused yeah uh it's all the same are you wondering why there's two different ones that are the exact same length and size uh i mean i know but the audience probably doesn't know so the skater that we've introduced you guys before is going to be a flatter kind of think of it like a super spook it's going to kind of sit flat on the water and just kind of push around the walker is going to sit a little bit more tail down. It's going to have more of a aggressive walking motion to it. So just a different look, right? Do you need both? Of course. So there you go. Look at a few of the colors. These are all going to be silent, by the way. Okay, so there you go. If you guys are dying for that bright chartreuse. Very natural colors, I see. 100%. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they went all natural. So those are available now. Just to spec it out for you guys. 225 millimeters, 4.3 ounces. And again, just like a skater, swiveled hooks, just big. So there you go, available now. 
All right, we see a restock this week in all the colors in the Baca burrito, as well as two new color additions to the burrito. We see Stepchild and Unicorn Poop added to the lineup. Now, we talked about the burrito here before. This is uh, just a really cool collab between Buka and Burrito Baits. This is a silicone swim bait, so it's gonna have a lot of durability to it, a little more durable than a traditional soft plastic. It is designed to kind of stay closer to the bottom, has an amazing action, very tight motion with the head, and then a big tail kick in the back. It's a proven bait. A lot of you guys know about this bait, have been catching fish on it for a really long time. So if you've been waiting for them to come back in stock, it's just over two ounces, six inches, so it's a perfect just kind of all around size for throwing everywhere you go. Bunch of colors. So there's a look at unicorn poop, Jeff's favorite color. So if you guys have been waiting, back in stock plus new colors. All right, Jeff, let's talk about some new products, some new brands coming out of Japan with some soft plastics. First up from Tiemco, we see the Locoism series of soft plastics drop and we're gonna start right here. This is the Buzzin Grub 3.5. Now. This one is gonna be one you guys are gonna to wanna to pay attention to. Let me open one of these up and I will show it to you. A lot of you guys love throwing things like a horny toad, buzz frog, that kind of stuff. This bait is gonna be right up your alley. It is designed to have a harder hitting buzz on top, but because it is still in a grub form, uh, can be an excellent option as a jig trailer, swim jig trailer, chatterbait. A lot of guys are using it as a chatterbait trailer in Japan as well. So there you go, a little bit different shape, but similar to what you're used to. So again, just something a little bit different, uh, gonna give a little bit different action. So if this is a, a style of technique and presentation you guys use, might wanna pay attention. It's available, of course, like in shad colors like this, black that I just showed you, green pumpkins, a bunch of different colors. So check that out from Tiempco, the Buzz and Grub, available now. All right, and also in the Locoism series, there is, you okay over there? You sure? Okay. Also in the Localism series is the Vibra Shrimp. So designed as a free rig bait, uh, it's got that nice shrimp profile. Jeff, zoom in right here. What, what, is that, what does that remind you of? Um, a frog's leg? Really? Huh. Let me take one out. Okay. Proud of you. Keeping it clean around here. Somebody has to. <laughs> I mean, somebody, I know what I see when I look at it. Somebody's got to do it. Okay, here you go. Vibra shrimp. So you're gonna get the little legs that are going to quiver on the fall. You've got the little labia back section that's gonna split and give nice action. So there you go, just something different, right? A lot of you guys have been enjoying using shrimp shaped baits. Yep, they're all gonna have that same kind of shrimpy scent, similar to like an OSP type scent. So there you go, you guys are just looking for something different. Could be a great option. There you go, Viber Shrimp, available now from Tiemco. All right, another new soft plastic brand from Japan. This is a new kind of startup, smaller, nichier brand. This is Professor, okay, or Professor. Let's, let's give them the bougie name, Professor. Okay, so you are looking at the Soren Shad 2, available in the two sizes that you see here. Let me take one out. So the Soren Shad is designed to be a fluke style bait, but it is thicker and more blunt, so it's gonna have more of a Senko type fall to it. So instead of having a really long tail where it's gonna have a big glide, it's gonna really just kind of have that Senko uh, cover scat type quiver down, but in a shad profile. Available in a bunch of colors, you can drop shot it. You can, of course, just Texas rig it, which is how it was designed. You could free rig it. So again, just a soft plastic natural shad type profile. Those are available now in a bunch of colors. And then we see the Mirage stick. And again, this is going to be available in the two different sizes as well. And this is going to be just a nice 
drop shot alternative. It's a very thin kind of flat bait fish style, maybe like a flatwormish type profile. It's thin, it's gonna have a great movement to it, whether you rig it uh, flat ways or horizontally, whatever you guys wanna do is fine. So I think of it as a drop shot worm. You could, of course, utilize it as a really light free rig bait as well. So again, available in a bunch of colors in the two different sizes from Professor. There you go. Okay, while we're on soft plastics, a lot of you guys have been asking us to expand some of our soft plastic lines with domestic brands. So we've been paying attention. So a lot of you guys have asked us to bring in X-Zone and we have. So if you guys have been looking for any of the X-Zone products, they're all available now. So anything from little drop shot baits to Griff's favorite, the little Ned. We've got tubes, we've got craws, we've got you know the swim baits, we've got the worms, we've got the hogs. So anything X-Zone you can think of, it's all available now. So there you go, knock yourselves out. X-Zone at the Hookup Tackle, available now. All right, Jeff, more Kasumi design. And I know you love Kasumi design. They're really and, coming through lately. And dude, and their, and their slogans are always spot on, right? So here you have the Hyper Omata Soft. Tie okay. your hands up when you talk about fishing. That's right. That's, that's everybody should that abide right by this. There you go. Tie your hands up when you talk about fishing. Boom. Right? Look, you got to tie your hands up. You got to play with penguins and you got to drink beer. The dude's drinking beer literally on the package. It's a crawdad, it, it looks like. It's like the guy from Spongebob. Yeah, What's Mr. That Krabs. Name? Yeah, Mr. Drinking Krabs. Drinking a beer. Drinking a beer. And telling you to tie yourself up. Mm-hmm. It's a kinky brand. Am I right? Yeah. 100%. 100%. All right, so here you go. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this? What is this? Right? Don't worry. I'm wondering the same thing, Jeff. <laughs> Hyper... Omata Soft. It's available in two sizes. So basically, it's like a combination of a cover scat and a shrimp, right? So you got kind of this shrimpy front section. Now, you can detach this if you want. You can leave it attached if you want. So you have some options there. It's designed to fish weedless. It has the little, you know, bump on the back for your hook point. So yeah, just something different, right? It's just going to kind of have that same kind of fall to it. Yeah, a mild flavoring, but you know, dude, if nothing else, the dude's drinking beer, telling you to tie your hands up, that alone is reason to buy this guy. So again, two sizes, yes sir? You wanna see it? There you go. Okay, that, that color is going away. Gone. Into Griff's box. See you later. So there you go guys, a brand new offering uh, at Japan from Kasumi Design, available now. All right, let's jump to Adusta. We have some restocks and some new products to tell you guys about. So one of our more popular wake baits of the last year, we had a really hard time keeping these in stock. They're back plus some new colors. This is the Adusta Silent Blaster. Now this is 140 millimeters long, 45 grams, so about an ounce and a half, right? And take one out just in case you guys aren't familiar. By the way, these are three of the new colors. There's a new gill, there's a new clear chartreuse, there's a new black, and then there's this great kind of matte finish white color here. Now, this bait has a lot of customization possibilities to it. We're all suckers for wake baits and things that just have a different action. So you're gonna have a bone body construction, so you're gonna have that louder sound as it rattles. Right, so you have that bone sound, it's gonna have a high buoyancy. This is how it's gonna come out of the package, so it's gonna come with this prop. It also comes with some different blades and some different clacks. So if you wanted to add a clacker, if you wanted to add a blade to the back uh, to make it more of a gong type sound or whatever you wanna do, there's some customization that you can do with it. So just a great all around wake bait, just something a little bit bigger than say like an eye loud or an eye jack or traditional wake. Um, so I'm assuming they're gonna fly out of here again because they, they have every time we've brought them in. So if it speaks to you, definitely scoop them up. A really cool bait from Adusta plus some new colors available now. All right, while we are on Adusta, we also have some brand new jerkbait additions. These are the Adusta Twitch Shiner. Now, these are available in two different versions. It's available in a liner version. It's available in a jumper 
version. Okay, so you know it can get a little confusing. They're both 90 millimeters, but you notice that the liner version has a little bit longer lip to it and it kind of drops down. This is gonna be more for just like a cast and retrieve. And it's gonna have this really kind of crazy kind of hunting motion to it. The more traditional lip here on the jumper is gonna be more of a traditional jerkbait style lip. So uh, you're just gonna work it just like a jerkbait. So a couple options just depending on what you want. It's just, again, it's a cool new little jerkbait, super niche. Very few people are gonna have these. It just only makes product a couple times a year. Nice, subtle sound to it, big eyes, something different. Right, so if you guys are geeks about jerk baits and crank baits like I am, this might speak to you. It's available in a handful of colors in each version, available now from Adusta. All right, and finally this week from Adusta, we see a brand new craw edition. This is the Gadget Craw 3.8 inch. So it's available in a bunch of colors. Let me take one out here so you guys can see it. So this is a very lifelike, natural looking craw. It's got the kind of ribbed on the back side body. It's got a very lifelike head that does have the groove for your hook. It's got a couple of, you know, bigger appendages for a swimming motion. So again, it's a lifelike profile, realistic profile that's going to have some good movement. You can use this as a free rig, as a Texas rig, as a jig trailer, obviously. So just another good crawl option, available in a bunch of cool colors, some unique colors that other brands don't have. So if you're looking, just mix it up a little bit. Definitely has a pretty strong scent to it. So I don't know, just something new, something different. So uh, from Adusta, the Gadget Craw 3.8 inch, available now. <sighs> Jeff, do you like tofu? Tofu? Mm -hmm. No. What about potofu? I don't know what that is. Potofu. Oh. So new this week from Smith, we see the addition of the potofu line of frogs. We have the full-size potofu, 59 millimeters, 15 and a half grams. We have the baby potofu at 53 millimeters, 9.7 grams. And we have the cute tiny little guy at 45 millimeters, seven grams. Now. Potofu is designed as a walking frog uh, that can also just be fish on a straight retrieve and you'll get that little blade spin back there for a tractor. It has that same kind of single hook that the evergreen frogs have that has an amazing hookup ratio. So you can put this in some really gnarly stuff in some super heavy cover and it's gonna have an amazing hookup ratio to it. Some great colors, some very unique colors to it three different sizes. So Smith is, you know, a brand that's famous for their trout baits, but they also make some great saltwater and bass baits as well. So we'll start to bring those over as they become available. So there you go. First edition into the bass world from Smith here in the store, the Potofu series of frogs. And then also from Smith, we see the introduction of the Corret SR. Now Smith is one of those brands that loves old school US style baits. They do a lot of just like custom paint jobs on some of our old, you know, kind of throwback lures and they love developing things that look throwback. So this is a very shallow running, you know, almost true wake bait from Smith in a very small little square bill body. It's really big, really round. It has a nice knock to it. So it's a highly effective, very buoyant crankbait that also is cool. It's just kind of a throwback. It's something unique. It'll be a fun thing for you guys to fish. Just to spec it out, it's 48 millimeters, 10 grams. So you're about at that 3 8 ounce mark, and it's available in a bunch of colors. So if you're looking for just something totally different and interesting, the Corret available from Smith. All right. Just a quick restock notice for you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on some of the higher end reels to return. We just saw a big restock of the Dio Exist in the 3000. So if you guys have been waiting on the 3000 Exist, this is the reel that's on all of my rods. Can't live without this guy. It's ultra bougie. I mean, it's an $800 spinning reel, but it is mind blowing. Super light, super smooth. So if you guys have been waiting on the 3000, those return. We also see some key returns from Ryugi in storage. So the hook wallet is back from Ryugi in the black color. So we had the white show up last week. 
we have the black show up this week. So you guys have been waiting. Those return. And we also see the Ryugi pouches return in the green color. So it's similar to like a Mega Bass inner case. They call it the item bag. So similar size, but it has a clear top so you can see into it. And then it also comes with dividers on the inside. So if you want to separate or segment your soft plastics or whatever it is that you're keeping in there, all these attach and reattach with Velcro. So easy to divide. So just a really nice uh, storage solution. So if you guys have been waiting on those, those return this week from Ryugi. You haven't taken a sip of your beer in a long time. Oh, well, let's change that. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. Thanks again, uh, you know, on behalf of myself and everybody around here. Thanks for letting us come and attack your homes and TVs on Sunday morning. Jeff just thinks that's hilarious. Dude, we talked about penguins today. And now we're going to talk about rods. Perfect. That's, I mean... What gets better than that? All in one episode. Orion, penguins, rods. It's an amazing Sunday already. There it is. And it's just begun. All right, let's dive in and talk about rods. This is one I posted on my Instagram. Super excited for this. So if you guys remember back about a decade, Lucky Craft was actually pretty big in the rod building game. They built some amazing rods specific for their baits, similar to how Mega Bass builds rods specific for their baits. Um, but... Lucky Craft had to make some decisions on where to focus their energy and they got out of the rod building business to focus on the lure so they could take care of the people that worked at their factory. It was a smart thing to do. Now that business is back and things are going well, they are reintroducing some rods. So super excited to get these in. So they're starting right here. This is a single rod introduction. Now, if you guys live in SoCal, and you guys surf fished and you know that Lucky Craft kind of owns that surf market with their saltwater lines of jerk baits. This rod is designed for that. It is a two piece spinning rod. It's an eight three spinning rod designed for fishing jerk baits in the surf. Now, pay attention because even if you're not a saltwater fisherman, this could have a lot of game for you. It's got this really nice soft tip on there for absorbing you know, any of that head shake on a treble hook, but it's a very powerful rod. So in freshwater, if you guys want a long like skinny dipper rod to outcast your friends, this thing could be super dope. It is in a really beautiful action. It reminds me a lot of the action of like a jerkbait special would be, but in a longer spinning rod. Now, let me just spec it out for you. It is technically a medium heavy, but because of how it's built, I would call it, it's probably medium heavy in power, but it's got that really nice kind of moderate feel to it. It specs out at three eighths to one ounce in 16 to 20 pound line. Fuji reel seats, nice, you know, lockdown cork, beautifully styled. It's got that kind of carbon weave. It's got a platinum pearl finish to it, a little silver sparkle inlay. So really nice, 350 bucks is gonna be the price. So pretty reasonable. Honestly, a very light rod in hand for a surf rod. Feel that, Jeff. So you know, we talk about some of the surf rods that we have around here in multi-piece, and they tend to be just a little heavier in feel, not this one. It's gonna feel a lot like a seven foot bass rod would in weight. So I think you guys are gonna love it. I don't know if this is gonna be a consistent drop or if they're gonna be in chunks. So if you guys are looking for a great rod like this, Pick it up now, available from Lucky Craft. All right, we've been talking a lot around here about trout, right? And some of the trout brands, Balkan, you know, Duo bringing trout stuff, Mega Bass and their trout stuff, Lucky Craft and their trout stuff. And a lot of it is applicable to trout. A lot of it crosses over and transfers into the BFS world for bass and other species. Well, I am excited to announce a new trout line from St. Croix of all brands. This is the St. Croix Trout Series of Rods. Now, these rods are all spinning for now. They know they missed the BFS lane there, but if you guys are looking for a great light duty trout rod, these rods are beautifully styled. They've got new, you know, much more aggressive styling grips on them. Uh, they sent us a few prototypes to try out and push to the limits as hard as we could. Uh, and in fact, you know, you send some trout rods to a couple of dudes in Phoenix in the summertime, 
what are you gonna do, right? Not a lot of trout around here. So we pushed them as hard as we could and enjoy this quick little clip that Jeff filmed of us putting these rods in action. All right, so there you go. It has our stamp of approval on them. Again, there's a bunch of different models in here. They're inexpensive. They're, again, they're designed for fishing trout, but they're completely applicable to any species you wanna throw at them. And of course, like all St. Croix rods, great warranty if anything were to happen with them. So check them out. If they're of interest to you, those are all available now. Now, if you guys watched our recent 1v1 video where I whipped Griff's ass, uh, you would have seen me with a prototype of one of these models. Now, I'm happy to announce that is not one of the actual models. So everything you saw in that commercial and me exploding the one, we pushed these things as hard as we possibly could. And everyone except for the 1v1 model that is down has held up extraordinarily well. So, you know, I have nothing but confidence and faith in these things. So, you know, if you're looking for just a great light spinning rod, I think you guys will really dig these. So check them out, new from St. Croix. All right, while we're on St. Croix, and a lot of you guys have been waiting for the Bass X series of swim bait rods to restock, they're all back. So uh, we brought these out. This is the rod model that Jeff helped them kind of guide through everything. Great parabolic bends to them. They're available in a heavy, an extra heavy, a double extra heavy. So they cover all the swim baits and for 150 bucks, it's a no brainer. So all of those return this week. We also see a restock of a rod that a lot of you guys have been waiting on. This is the Evergreen Jackhammer rod. So we see a pretty big restock of Evergreen rods this week, including the Jackhammer. So if you guys have been waiting for this or looking for a great chatterbait rod, for now, they're back. Of course, it's not the whole shipment, but might as well scoop them up while they are available. Those are available now. And then we also see a bunch of NRX Plus make it to the shelf. So Loomis continues to kick it out. I think there's only a handful of models still left that they haven't produced. So we're seeing things like the 853C is available. We're seeing 822 DSRs, 822 SYRs, so the shaky head rod, the drop shot rod, 853s, 844 MBRs, 873s. So check them out. If you guys have been waiting on NRX Plus, almost all the models now are available. So check them out. Big stock this week from Loomis. And just like that, Jeff, that's a wrap. Wow. Boom. Hmm. No more penguin stuff, huh? No, dude, I'm taking these penguins and I'm going to go have a good time. Everybody's going to go have a good time with penguins. I'm excited to see the posts. You know, no more boring ass for your equates. That's the highlight for me of right, the show. Highlight tell. for you? What's the highlight for you? A highlight for me? Mm -hmm. uh, the Ballum. The Ballum. Yeah, the 245s. It's dope. So, a lot of people, when we started talking about the Ballum or when Optimum started leaking that, hey, there's a trout color coming, a lot of people were very quick to say, why no sinking 245? I would have loved to see a sinking 245, just mm. to have another option. But what do you have to say to those people? Just grab a floating. We have too many board weights here to not customize. Super easy. You can easy. make it float, then you can make it suspend, you can make it a fast sink, a slow sink. Like, just get in a floater one is literally the best idea. Yeah. So, and keep that in mind. If you go with the sinking, obviously you can tie it on and just go, but it's going to pretty much always be a sinking. Even if you buy one of the floating weights, it doesn't really it's gonna take a load it. Yeah, you it's know gonna what I mean? Whereas the floater is just so easy to customize. So don't be afraid of it. It literally takes three seconds to put 
board weights on and put it to whatever depth you want. So there you go, guys. If you have any questions on anything that came in this week, holler at me, drop a question down below in the comments. I will get to it. Jeff will leave links to the products if you want to check them out closer. <laughs> on behalf of myself and Jeff and John and Carmen and Griff and everybody around this place, guys, thank you for the business. Thanks for the support in the community. Cheers to you guys. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Happy Sunday. Have a great day. Peace.